Mazzersini. Musical performances by Ronnie G. And Lonnie Gibbons. And comedian Jay Washington. With Sunny Lee and the Seven Ridge Art Orchestra. And me, Kaka. being on a, on a bus on the road? Is it, is it 
Comfortable? Do you enjoy it? Yeah. Um, from the shows, we get you know tired and worn out, so we just uh, go on the bus and we just you know get knocked out and uh, sleep the whole time, and we drive to a different city. So uh, we all like our bus. It's pretty fun. We decorate it for uh, fall decorations, so it's pretty cool. Now you talk about Kellogg's. You've made the cover of the <laughs> Corn Flakes box. <laughs> What was it like when you got that call? Was it a phone call saying, hey, Gabby, you're going to be on the cover of the court? What is that like? No, I didn't get a phone call. I had to get an interview, and then uh, Steve Penny, he's the president of USAG, and he was like, I have a gift for you, a surprise. I was like, oh, what is it going to be? And then he was just like, bam, and he showed me the Kellogg's box, and I was just jumping up and down. I was just so excited. That's the coolest thing in the world. I can't even imagine what that's like around every breakfast table in America. That's that's wicked cool. Um, you know, you became famous in an instant yes. this summer, but you have worked almost your whole life to get to this moment. Um, a bit a very tough journey, an inspiring one. And looking back now on the 2012 games with that behind you, you um, certainly dreamed of that moment, getting there. Was the experience of becoming a gold medalist everything you had expected it to be, or was it something more? You know, that's a good question because you, we dream about stuff, but we don't actually know. I, I dreamed about being on top of the podium or going to the Olympics, but I didn't actually know. I didn't know what London was like. I didn't know what the food, the atmosphere, the gym. So we just dream about it, but we never really know. But um, going to London was just such an amazing experience, and I wanted to take in every single moment because it went by so fast, and I wish I could relive it the moment again, and uh, it was just so amazing. Well, see, that's what they make DVDs for. Yeah. We're all going to relive <laughs> that moment forever and ever and ever. Um, you mentioned the word dream, and I want to hone in on that for a second, because over the years, we've had athletes on the show, sports superstars, all sorts of amazing people. And a lot of them have shared with me that up right before the moment that they won a Super Bowl or an NBA title or something, a lot of these players have had like really weird, crazy dreams when they're trying to sleep, maybe because their mind's going nuts. Did you have any weird dreams in London? No? No. <laughs> then all these other people are just crazy. I'm going to go back to that and tell them they need help right away. Um, now, we all watched, of course, as you won the gold. You were just cool as a cucumber through the whole thing. You have such poise and composure about you. But I have to wonder, what was going on inside your head? Were you as calm as you looked to all of us, or were you going nuts? No, I was calm, and no matter what color the medal was or what the outcome was, I could say, go home. I gave it my all. I gave it 100%. I'm an Olympian. I compete at the Olympics. So. I didn't think about winning. I thought about how great I could be on that day and what I'm going to show the world what I'm capable of doing. Uh, you showed us. <laughs> You've been so busy. Have you been able to take any time to just kind of reward yourself or do something fun in response to all of your success? Yeah, I've been pretty busy, but I've gotten a couple of cool opportunities and. Uh, me and my teammates went to the VMAs, so that was a cool thing. I saw you with Alicia Keys out yeah. there. And now, when you met Nicki Minaj, I guess Nicki was like starstruck by you. How, how is that? Well, that's what she said in all the <laughs> interviews, yeah. How, is it weird being the celebrity now when you meet celebrities? It is kind of weird, but it's kind of a win-win situation. I mean, they want to meet us, and we want to meet them, so it kind of works out. And we're, we're going to be hearing a lot more from you. You have a book coming out later yes. this year. Tell us about that. Yeah, I have a book coming out, and uh, it's mainly about my story and my background, where I came from, and just, uh, yeah, basically that. It's called Grace, Gold, and Glory, My Leap of Faith. Yes. Is that right? Okay, very cool. We, we're definitely going to look for that. Too early to think about the 2016 games in Rio? Nope. I'm definitely planning on doing 2016. <laughs> This family of gold is going to grow. I think we're, we're all sure of that. So. We're all sure of that. Um, before we go, you know, a lot of people have parlayed their athletic success, Olympic success, into other facets of public life. Entertainment, movies, broadcasting, all sorts of things. Do you, is it, do you see yourself sort of maybe going into some other aspect of, of public life after your competition days are over? Yes, after 2016, I want to be a spokesperson 
or I want to be an actress, I think that would be so much fun. I would play like the mean girl or like the nice girl. <laughs> You have a future as bright as your smile, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and um, we're all supporters of yours in this room, but if there's anybody who's as big or bigger supporter in this building, it's going to be the person we're going to bring out at this time. I guess the only way to really introduce her is to pretty much call her the gold medalist of moms. Let's do that. Let's bring out Gabby's mom, Natalie Hawkins. <laughs> That's where she basically, you know, grew up. And to be able to bring her back home to Gary, Indiana, meant so much to me. I love this town. And it's fair to say this year has been every bit the success for you, as it has been for Gabby, being the mom of, of an Olympic gold medalist. What has this experience been like for you? It's been incredible. It's been a wonderful journey. We've got to meet um, so many amazing people that come up to us and they share their stories with us and it's so encouraging. And to know that so many people were inspired by what she did and by the sacrifices that I made, you know, it's overwhelming for us at times. It means the world to us to hear their stories and to be able to share in their joys. You know, they share with us their accomplishments and it's just beautiful and we love every minute of it. Yeah. Yeah, we got 